we did it. So, so Rise of the Eldrazi, huh? Yeah, Eldrazi, huh? Is there like a no? There's no note around here. So it's yeah, until tomorrow we have Rise of the Eldrazi Swiss, which I, is like what their flashback drafts have all been Swiss for a while now. See, I want to say maybe because their first note here is the Wednesday downtime will not be occurring. Fear not. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Well, it said until downtime, so maybe it just will rise forever. Everybody. Rise forever. Maybe rise forever. Maybe rise. Well, certainly rise right now, but, but maybe fear rise not, forever. Leagues will still be starting. Will still be launching at the announced time. Yeah, constructed leagues. I love how they won't put the word constructed in front of leagues because they want to trick everyone into thinking leagues are back. But, so, uh, Rise of the Eldrazi. So, but Rise of the Eldrazi's back. Um, right here, in fact. Like, right right here. I'm getting in. Octopus with a hammer, <laughs> let's go. So, yeah. There's, I don't know, there's like a new set coming up that's... That has, uh, Eldrazi's that... in it, so they want to show off the, the... The, the, the better Eldrazi's, you know? Yeah, they want to show off Ulamog's Crusher and Annihilator so that you will forget that Annihilator was great mm -hmm. and everybody who didn't like it was a baby. And so was Stone Rain. <laughs> Bring back Stone Rain, you assholes. It'll never happen. It won't ever happen ever again. The double Eldrazi is 20 power for 10 mana, so that's, like, good. That's pretty good. You win the game in one in one turn with that. Uh, if you have, I was t I tweeted it as a joke, but that would be pretty good with Timur Ascendancy. That would be pretty good with like the 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 two, three two that gives haste. Mm -hmm. If you, if you have or, like or Serac of the Hunt. <laughs> Wait, does he he only gets haste? He doesn't grant haste. That's right. He's not. Ah, uh, he gra he get no he grants haste to one creature. Oh, also it's raining. You might hear that, but uh. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, he would work. He would give half of it. I still like Timorous <laughs> and see better though because you draw get to two. draw your cards. Oh yeah, because you really, re really what you need before you attack for twenty is to draw two cards. Well, it makes it a little bit more like Kozilek, you know. Okay, so it's a, <laughs> you get a twenty twenty <laughs> and you draw two cards. Yeah, and they have haste. Yeah. Uh, Look, do you have removal or blockers? By, by yes, the way, no. by the way, the official name is Broodmate Eldrazi. That, that's that's the, yeah. the official title because it's broodmate Eldrazi or wingmate Eldrazi. Oh, well, that was broodmate rock. Like, I mean, yeah, that was definitely broodmate rock. Like broodmate dragon. Like, yeah, yeah. Stang <laughs> is a card that is that and is the original that. Yeah, Stang. but Stang. Stang, kinda... Stang was like cool, but Stang also kinda... died if you killed half of it. Yeah, Stang kind of sucked. But... He kind of sucked, but creatures kind of sucked back then. And he was like a he was like a seven four, right? I think he was like a three four, but he got two of them, you know. I think. Look up Stang and Stang's twin. But yeah, the, the Broodmate Dragon is the one that I have in my head as, you know, the doubler. We have to wait. We, uh, S T A N N G. I think there's two. Oh, N's. I was doing two A's, but it's two N's. I think it's two Stang. N's. Stang. Let's just say the word Stang for the next like. Stang. Stang. He was a six, one, a three, four. I made. What was I thinking? I know that really weird white card. I was like a four seven. I could only attack alone or whatever. That was from Master's Edition, I think. Uh, oh, oh, like but... Evil uh, Orim, Orim's Eye? Legionnaire, something Legionnaire. Oh, 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 that's an 8-4. Oh, 8-4, I thought it was a 4-8. No, that, that, thing's, that thing's huge, if I remember. If I remember the card you're talking about right, it's like only it can attack. Yeah, only Legionnaires can attack. Yeah. Uh, the cool thing about uh, the the Eldrazi Doubler, the look, it has like 70 names, okay? I don't actually know the real name of it. It's just a... It's a 10-4. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, is that... It's a come-to-play ability. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wait, what's it coming to playability? Making the 10-10. Akron Legionnaire. Akron Legionnaire. I was going to say Akros Legionnaire, but I'm like, that's hell if that's... it was a card from Theros. Yeah, like... No way that's working. Yeah, that was this was old magic. Yeah. But yeah, so coming to playability. Yeah. Uh, what this format will do to Animar decks? I don't know. Oh, oh no! Oh, it's a cast ability. Oh, oh well, it should. It probably should be. Yeah, well, and that makes sense whatever. because of uh, Restoration Angel existing. Abyss Hunted, proving I have never read a card. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, Lord of Treasurehorn is like the tin four. I'm pretty sure Akron Legionnaire is like a big butted creed. I will just look these damn cards up with my Google ability. I don't think that Goblin does anything. Akron Legionnaire is a seven is an eight mana eight four. Eight four. Creatures except cre except for creatures named Akron Legionnaire and artifact creatures. Creatures you control can attack. Artifact creatures. Oh yeah, the Goblin doesn't do anything. It would be really good about a year ago. Well, like Titan Strength is still in standard, but and oh, imagine that in like the heroic decks where you can like. I has your think... Titan Strength and have it do four things at once. Although you're playing a Hill Giant, your heroic deck. I think the biggest problem with it is it's a Hill Giant. Like, it's I'm hill... sure there's some really cool way to do something with it. Like, he, I like that he he's the Hedron Grinder. He just like, <laughs> what what targeted spells grant? abilities. Well, you want you want things that you would target your own precursor yeah. golem with. You want things that yeah. say draw a card. Draw like tap draw a card or like retraction helix. Titan strength kind of. Titan Titan strength would be god that crappy Eldrazi temple. Uh That is a really bad Eldrazi oh, temple. Oh, I mean, I understand because like Eldrazi temple with I'm seeing all these Devoid cards. Like, you could use actual Eldrazi Temple on Devoid cards, but yeah, you you could do that. And it they can't print Temple of the False Gods anymore because that's mm. Temple of the False. They don't like fast mana. So let's see what we open. But yeah, Titan Strength is probably the. <laughs> My pack isn't loaded yet. Oh, it's here. <laughs> okay, is that the pick? I don't know. Like, There's an overgrown battleman Nondu giant, giant here. Yeah. I'm just we did we summon that? I'm 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 saying we summon that. We could have summoned it. Um, I would like Eldra I would like overgrown battleman. Yeah. Drazi Temple does sort of the same thing. I, I think you're right that the battlement is just the better card. Thank you, thank you for showing up on time, Eldrazi Temple. <laughs> yeah, thanks, nice thanks for showing up. Maybe you'll wheel. It's very nice of you. Um, Overgrown battlement does more for us. and So if we're in green, we want Undo Giant and Stomper Cub, definitely. Um, no black cards in this pack. No black cards in this pack. Irakai Outrider's cool. Ogre's Cleaver's okay. I like McKindy Griffin better than you do, but... I don't think this is the format for McKindy Griffin. Yeah. So if it comes back, are you pick McKindy Griffin or Reinforced Bulwark? Uh, reinforced Bulwark, just because it has overgrown battle. It can battle. tap for mana. <laughs> yeah, it taps for mana. All right, well, bye-bye, Eldrazi Temple. We'll see you again later. Come on, pluck a worm, 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 pluck a worm. No. Um... Uh... Our rare is Momentous Fall of the Eldrazi. Uh-huh. There's also Inquisition of Kozlek and a Wall of Omens. Oh my god, this is a this is a damn standard deck I played, but <laughs> I th Inquisition is the single most powerful card in the pack in the abstract. Nest Invader is like the most limited powerful card. Yeah. Like in Invoker is not good enough to pick here, I don't think. Wait, which invo Wait, that Blood Right Invoker? No, if that was Dongler, then definitely, but... Yeah. Oh. I know we've lost to that Invoker almost more than any other. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's the one, pe one people get infinites of, or not infinites, multiples of, so... Also, laughing my head off that this is a, this is a $2 card. Mm-hmm. So, do you, would you like Nest Invader, or do you like a two dollar card? Nope, I want. I am here for the drafting. I, I yeah, like. I would like Inquisition. It's not a bad card to have, um, but 
All right. Curse uh, of wizardry. I watched somebody lose to that card once. Actually, they didn't lose to it. They went to one life and could no longer cast spells. Oh, twelve dollar card in like I'm in real life. There's a difference yeah, in between MTGO, Magic Online. It's not yeah. a twelve dollar card. Um, yeah, yeah. In M MTGO, it's just two bucks according to my my searches. Anyway, Lust for War, Snake Umbra, Seagate Oracle, Null Champion. Even Battle Rattle Shaman is a fine card. Yeah, Battle Rattle Shaman is cool. Um, yeah, it's funny that 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 uncommon pit would pay off an entire draft. I don't. Ah, oh, man. I don't like know. Snake Umbra's playable. If you want to force blue-green, Seagate Oracle's pretty okay. Yeah. You know what? What if I... Go with a Lust for War. I um, really like the Battle Rattle Shaman, too. But I, I, I like Lust for War. The card does a lot of work. It does most things you want it to. Mm-hmm. Say so we have Not of This World, uh -huh. which could be our token Eldrazi. And then we have like Ancient Stirrings, Praise Vengeance, Daggerback Basilisk. Card to say. Yeah. Um I like Praise Ven this is a pretty ridiculous like rebound trick. It it it, it is pretty good. Mm -hmm. There's also Lava Fume Invoker is like the worst invoker. <sighs> yeah. Guard duty is playable, mnemonic wall is playable. Yes, Smite and, and Guard Duty both function as cheap removal, which doesn't exist in this format. Right, like, well, the, the cheap removal that exists either is, like, conditional or... Like, basically it's all or you pay out the nose for it, like Vendetta. Get, get vendetta yeah. Basically, Narcoleft is the one good piece of removal. <laughs> well, it's the cheap one. It's the cheap one that... But all of it even has a, a bat... You know, yeah, like, a back door. like doesn't work on tappers, doesn't work on dongler invoker. Um, we could get another lust for war. We could pick up an Ondu giant, or there's a wild heart invoker, or a knight of cliffhaven, or a frost with frost wind invoker. Yeah. Hmm. Like knight of cliffhaven's really good. Wave watch is decent. Like I, I say, decent in a in a that's less than I. It's it's better than decent. Um, yeah, it's an O six. Well, that can a, become a six six. Uh, sometimes it just becomes a six six, and you lose. Um, yeah, I'm looking at like, I don't, I don't know what I want out of here. Like the lust for war number two seems really cool. Ondu yeah. giant is really good. Ondu giant's really good. Wild heart invokers just good on his own. Then like, knight of cliff haven's also good. I'm gonna look. It, Repster, it's pick five. We'll, Eldrazi exists in this format. We will locate them. I um, mean, there's our Valakut Fireborn. There's also Vent Sentinel. Yeah, there's Vent Sentinel. We could... And Stomper Cub. Uh, I, I want you to know how how much it has taken for me to avoid just jumping into the blue here. I have done that on purpose. Well, there's Hottest Spy Patrol and Frostwind Invoker, which I are know. both fine picks, and I would have appreciate us having those we also have like pencil and and the fire boar i don't have like we... fire boar so much have we played this deck in this format i don't know we only you'll have two defenders for it we can heavily pick defenders i guess well like we could find the good ones like we don't have to pick them we just like you don't have to force it you just find them if you wanted to pick the hottest spy patrol, you should pick the hottest spy patrol. There's a battle rampart and it's... a traitorous instinct. I kind of like traitorous instinct here. That's a card that sometimes just gets you out of. Again, like having a uh, threaten can do some. Show work. everyone phantasmal abomination. Yeah. Somehow it's not the worst. Three mana, five five in this goddamn set for blue, blue, and one. I don't even know how that's possible. But there's that really, really crappy one that like doesn't untap. Ah, true enough. I think that's a rare in this. Like it's, it, 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 they really like their terrible. Uh, ooh, battle rattle shaman and known good card regress. Hmm. I'm 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 willing to go here and willing yeah, to wanna, say gruel. Want to go gruel? Yeah. Yeah, go gruel. Yeah, our gruel defenders with our battle rattle shaman. 
Yep, that's that's the battle rattle shaman works perfectly with gruel defenders. It's fine. It also, he also works on his own. Yeah. He also works with Eldrazi spawn. All right, so next pack would be the temple coming back. Like, I guess what I mean is, you know, it's it's our pack coming back. This is also might of the masses in here, but whatever. Whatever. We already have praise vengeance, and all right. Hey. I can um, also pick up Ogre's Cleaver, but whatever. I like Eldrazi Temple plenty. We don't also have... reinforced Bulwark. Yeah. We don't have any Eldrazi's yet, but I'll take the Temple. Uh, Perfect Prism always is good. Uh, you'll play it in whatever deck you play. Yeah. Wow, really? Let's play blue. I am... Let's, let's, let's play blue. Like, I can't lie to myself that much. I'm can't, sorry. You can't lie. No, we, we're going to play blue like... I am so sorry. I can't lie to myself that much. Like, want to pick up that smite, or are we going to actually play lay bear? We're not playing either, but I guess the smite's the one we steal. Yeah, we might actually if we end up in white somehow. Technically, the outrider's the more playable card here, but. I mean, I'm. And getting... what do we got, Johnny? Uh, come oh. on, I, I I picked the temple quick, which backed everything up. Yeah, that's why I usually don't do that. So you you were ignoring a signal to go blue, is what you were saying? I was trying very hard to ignore it, but like that's pretty freaking. I also can't see the card. I I can't see them either. I also our timer isn't moving. Okay. Well, let's see what happens, everybody. We'll get our play points back. Can I... Give it, if it goofs up. Can I have control, please? Five minutes later, we're did... five picks into the next pack. Yeah, did I... Oh, boy. I don't think we broke anything, because, like... I have an incredibly bad feeling about this. I... I feel okay about it. Oh, Moto's crashed. All right. Why? All right, hold on. We are we are fixing the problem. We're, we're jumping back in, everybody. I don't even know what happened there, but sure, whatever. It did it did it did did it did it, 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 uh, it crashed. This is what happened. All right, can Let's I see if we can get back to our event. Give me to pick one of pack two. It says two seconds. Click on the top right No? <laughs> Wait. Okay. It that betrays. Yes. I've got the highlight on it. I don't know how much time I have, but I have the highlight on it that betrays. Hopefully I have it. By the way, I got Foil, Swamp, and Island. I did not That's... get it that betrays. Well, let's... We can officially... I'm... All right. Over... What the hell is this? Okay. Um... Uh... What next? All right. So, now that everything's gone straight to hell, where are we? I'm... I'm sad. That we was also a... have a completely empty pack. Is the weirdest thing. I could just pick up like corpse hatch and like shift off to something. Or pick corpse hatch because we don't need a third battle rattle shaman or whatever. I, guess we I, already... I get, yeah, I know. Like a snake umbra's here too. I could go with the umbra stuff. Um, hmm. Actually, like snake umbra, not that bad. Or a gnarled plan. Like I have a lust for war. Hmm. So do we pick the Snake Umbra, or do we pick the Aura Gnarlid? I think we pick the Aura Gnarlid there on that plan, and it makes me yeah. kind of wish. Um... Well, we'll see how the draft turns out before we go to anything like that, uh, Mighty Dick Look, it, we're, here, we're still here. I'm not just going to disappear on it. There's also a rapacious one, but... We didn't get the pin and blade, but that's an Ulamog's Crusher. Right, which we have an Eldrazi Temple, which is why I want it over a Rapacious one. And but... a Battlement and an Andu Giant. Like, it's completely castable. And a, and a Boar Umbra. 
I want that Bor Umbra is pretty nice with Orant Narlet around. Uh, Bor Umbra is just nice on its own. Yeah. Like Bor Umbra and Drake Umbra are like super hot nuts. We're not even trying. Yep. But yeah, you can do some pretty dumb stuff with this card as we've seen in the past. Mm -hmm. Can we take this pack? I think there's about five cards I want in here, which makes which is wouldn't be enough for me to like. There, there was a conspiracy card that let you just take an entire pack and back out of the pack on the draft. It was incredibly That's, silly. Yeah, I liked it. But here we would, we would like rapacious one crusher wild hearts, bulwark maybe. Maybe Rune Servitor and then Bore Umbra and then past that you start getting into dregs. Yeah. Um oh. Hey, Surakar Spellblade Blade. is here. Look at these blue blue one cards. And Merfolk Observer. Do you Merfolk observe yourself or your opponent? I don't know. Uh, your opponent. Picking up spawning breath. I think so. Like, there, there's a couple good green creatures. I don't want a second trader's instinct. Like, Spore Cap Spider might actually be a more reasonable pick here, but Spawning Breath is uh, a piece of removal for Dongler Invoker. That is exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. The Spawning Breath kills <laughs> Dongler Invoker. <laughs> right, like, what do you do about it? It also kills the Black Invoker, too. He's a 3-1. Yeah, uh, it, I mean, it all, it does a number of things. Uh, you might be able to catch somebody, like, trying to level up their guy, and it's also a fake ramp. You can also kill a Surakar Spellblade. Uh, ah, you want to pick Devastating Summons? Um, you want to pick Devastating Summons? Do you want to pick Devastating Summons? <laughs> Do you hear that, or, like, Hotta Spy? Pick Hotta Spy Patrol. Patrol. Yeah, right, like... Caught a spy patrol. Uh, I don't. I personally love devastating summons, but that's because I love really bad cards. I played devastating summons once. It was pretty freaking sweet. Like it, 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 it can make some huge, huge elementals. Yeah, like my favorite number is five. Sacrificed five lands to it. <laughs> I get five fives. Hmm. Pick the house by patrol. Hey, hey. Um there's contaminated ground. I was gonna say this pack doesn't contain cards. It's like either Nemesis Silt Lurker or Rappin' Flames. Yeah, like maybe Rappin' Flame like Rappin' Flames isn't even a card I main, like Nah. And Silt Lurker's a a dogs. It's dogs. Yeah. You know what? This is the this is the Crocomire skill, right? <laughs> yeah, this is the thing that makes the Bogodile <laughs> leap up and, and bite for one thousand percent weapon damage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sideboard naturalize. Hey. <sighs> Hey, Wild Heart Invoker. Yeah, it makes me feel better about that Halmar Wave Watch when there's actually a, other playable cards for us. Wild Heart Invoker's a card I want one of, especially in a ramp deck. Um, you don't want recurring inside? That you know, could draw you upwards to four cards. Do you know how many cards that card normally draws you? Like four. It's zero. It's actually zero. Usually, what what will happen is you put it in your deck... And in the circumstances where your opponent has 17 cards in hand, it's not in your hand. When you're when in circumstances when your opponent has no cards in hand, every card in your hand has somehow turned into recurring insight. <laughs> it's actually amazing. Like It's like that Paladin card. Yeah. Uh, I guess we're taking Goblin Arsonist here. Yeah, I don't think we're in a Monic Wall deck or a Fissure Vent deck. There's no such thing as the as a fissure vent deck. However, recurring insight in multiplayer games actually always owns. Because yeah. in a multiplayer game, somebody somewhere is sitting there with a full grip waiting, and then you're just like, what if I draw seven cards? And also next turn I'm gonna draw seven cards. They're like, wait, hold on. We're we're not a fissure vent deck because there's no such thing. Do you know what the only non basic targetable with this card is in the format? Uh 
No, there's the one in our deck, <laughs> the Eye of Oog. Eye of Oog is actually from World Wake. Uh, the Eye of Oog, the, uh, you know what I mean, the Eldrazi yeah, Temple. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Look, they look really similar. Right, right. And they do basically the same thing. So you can pick up Spider Umbra. Well, I mean that's good. We have we have Aura Narlid. This is yeah, a good Umbra. Aura. This is this is actually a good wheel here, especially since I we didn't get it that betrays out of here. <laughs> you sure you don't want that Living Destiny? I never want that Living Destiny. It, it, it's worse even, than Feed the Clan. What's even happening here? Like I, uh, a green tornado is appearing, and I, I want you to frog. know that I am not currently highlighting the haze frog right now. <laughs> yeah, the haze frog just was. Hey, like, what up? Like, uh, okay, like I, I, I was not pressing a button there. The haze frog just appeared. So, so another you want cool haze thing. Haze frog or hand of him or cruel? Uh, probably like hand of him or cruel, even though it sucks. Also, last kiss owns. Uh, the dumb thing about this card in this format is that basically every um, aura is a totem armor here. Oh, there's lust for war. <laughs> ah, sweet. So my opponent's creature has can't be killed. Well, I think it says your creatures, so uh -huh. it doesn't even work. That you would have to lust for war your own creature, which I could see you doing in a specific circumstance. Somebody yeah, has four on. copies of Curse of Wiz Wizardry, and they are going to lose because I will just <laughs> cast an Ulamog's Crusher. I don't know. We'll, we'll, can, we'll side into our aura finesse. We'll <laughs> aura finesse the wizardry onto them. Does that even work? No, I think it's aura. Hey, Hellcarver Demon, how you doing? Hey, Hellcarver Demon. It's also Corpse Hatch. Corpse Kill Hatch me. number two. There's, there's also another aura on our lib. Well, I know there's a, car. there's a car we should splash in here. It's in the top right. I know, I see the donger. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Yeah, there's Satan. It's, it's, actually, it's actually quite funny that he's here, because even like, anybody who wants to be playing Black wants to be playing Corpse Hatch instead. We're not picking Satan. We're, We're not picking... We're picking or Gnarled or Dongler Invoker. Maybe Explosive Revelation if I'm feeling hella spicy, but honestly, I want a plan for the deck, and Aura Gnarled gives me one. Aura Gnarled's pretty great, too. But yes, everybody say hello to Satan. He's just I, he's got this like pose where he's lying on like I think it's just a pile of corpses or whatever. I don't know. Hey. If it makes you feel better, he'll probably wheel. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he'll show back up. If I would have picked up Corpse Hatch earlier, we you know, that that could have been a, a then I would have picked up a second Corpse Hatch here, the end, like <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Also, what's the point of me trying to outdo, uh, all right. Stagger shock! Yes! Well, the rare's missing, so I can tell you. <laughs> that's. <laughs> you sure you don't want Deprive? Nah, I'm good. Deprive isn't, like, the worst counter spell ever. No, it's actually, it's, kind of bad. it's like, okay. Like, it's blue-blue counter target spell at the end of the day. Like Yeah. It just, it moon folks you, which... If this were, a, like, Zendikar, that'd be pretty great. Yeah. You can uh, landfall again. Of note, the blue... Also, Deprive versus Lay Bear is pretty damn hilarious, but... Also, Drake Umbra owns, and Guard Gomazoa is quite good. Drake Umbra is maybe the strongest Umbra. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kaz did Hellcarver Demon getting two Ulamox Crushers, yeah. yes. I was there with them, but he he was the one in the in the, in the seat on that one. It was a really really like that's the best Hellcarver demon ever, and it's not I'd never be able to top that. Well, you're only human. You're not Satan. <laughs> Forked bolt. Am I? <laughs> you mean red can actually yeah. do something in our deck? Wait, good red cards? <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> You're going to tell me, like, a Flame Slash is next yeah, or whatever? Yeah, like, we got to get a Flame Slash next, and then it's just, like... <laughs> Make up for our wrapping Flames in the board? Yeah. Or we have to play Legac Lizard? Mmm. Yes, uh, Six Ulmog's Crushers, I... That... I never played it... I... I Modern Masters 2 was over at that point, you know? Uh, hold on. No problem. How many regresses are in this damn draft? I think we've seen four. Um, yeah. 
and maybe five. I don't know. I feel like the red's decent here. Like, and by decent, I mean we picked up two really good burn spells to make me feel like picking red wasn't like the worst idea, merely a poor one. <laughs> also, look at that black. Yo, yo, yo. So, luckily, somehow Staggershock's still around. Um, so, we've got Reach. We've got powerful Reach at this point. Um, but, just to note that the black is hella real, you know. There, there, There's a world where we have a deck that has two corpse hatches and a vendetta. And that world is the person to our left, actually. That's that person. Um, they have those cards. Uh, black showed in pack one, but we didn't get to actually pick, or pack two, but we didn't get to, like, make a pick in that pack. So, you know, there was, like, a corpse hatch in there, but, you know, it just didn't happen. Anyway, Stagger Shock. Oh, is this the world I live in? Can I actually be this person for once? I've never actually gotten a place, I don't think I've gotten a place surreal memoir, but with with instants and sorceries like Stagger Shock and Forked Bolt, like that, that could be legit. When this card only has like one target to bring back, also nice little eyeball. That's the memoir. I'm I'm gonna try this. I you're gonna try surreal memoir? Yeah. Well, let me look at the rest of the pack and then. Well, you don't want Grotag Siege Runner oh, in your deck? By the way, it wasn't a Flame Slash. It was just another Stagger show. I, I, I saw the Stagger. I was, I was watching, but I was on the phone. I know. So Stagger Shock, A. Eh? We're not cutting Bulwark. Bulwark taps for mana. Um, There's a l really late Donglair Invoker. It's like either that or... Yes. Battle like, Rattle Shaman? Right, like Battle Rattle on our Aura Narlet? Like, Battle Rattle plus Aura Narlet's real. We already have a Battle Rattle Shaman. Do you feel like Do you feel like Dongler Invoker is a powerful enough card to splash? Do I feel like it'd be possible to actually splash it? Ondu Giant and, and Prophet Prism? Prism? Perfect Prism? I, th I think, yeah. Like, you know, I guess if you want to splash it, here's the perfect opportunity to do so. I was going to say, you, you know that my... my uh, my answer to will I splash this card is like yes. I, I don't click on yes. I click on hell yes. There. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, now here's Rise of the Eldrazi with like end of the pack. I just I don't I, think we I don't remember us seeing this card in quite a long time. Me either. It's not like an awful card either. Right. Sometimes it makes infinity guys. Also, uh, let's let's. It's our skeletal worm. Our Eldar. Honorary Eldrazi. Yep, it, this is the skeleton. This is uh, quite obviously the skeleton of the Palaka Worm. And... He's the skeleton wiggler. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He, he's, he's a pretty good creature, all things told. Yeah. You should attack with him. Stomper Cub. Crab Umbra. <laughs> Look at that Umbra. Crab. Look at that Umbra. Look at the... You sure you don't want to feed the clan? Didn't Feed the Clan cost, like, two? Yeah, it was t green one. For, like, Gr seven life? Green one for ten life. Now, that was on the... Well, it was five and ten. Yeah. I don't think Sisters is still a modern deck. I Modern is too much of this infinite combo zone for life gain to be real against half the field is the problem. I guess it works okay against Affinity sometimes. Um, hmm. so are we a are we a Kiln Fiend deck with no, our we Stagger like, Shocks? It's basically Stagger Shocks. That's it. And and like trade. I think we're a Battle Rattle Shaman deck if nothing else because that's good with Aura Narlid. 
Yeah. Which is because we don't have auras to go with Auronarlid, so let's try to go other ways with Auronarlid. And what is Auronarlid? So other he can't be blocked by creatures with slower that are smaller. Yeah, yep, that's why. Yep. Uh, we can. Ancient Strings is like a playable card. Yeah, I mean it, it's this, it's this, it's this, it's this, and then any land. So that's like a fifty percent and kind of fine that it cycles yeah fake cycles i i don't know if i'll play it because if i'm playing surreal memoir i really want to have better control over like the power yeah. level of my cards I, we would play it if we had picked that uh kiln fiend like that's what we get our kiln fiend off of is mm -hmm. i'm at here's the look at was lizard I don't even let's know. pick regress i was say i think this is just grab regress and don't look back I'm actually okay with this card because in some circumstances it's quite good. You mean when we control Ulamog's Crusher? Ah, not even that. Okay. It's I just see a Storm no, Strike. I know, it's just... So, if we board into blue, what does it even look like? Not good, it's not enough. There's like four cards. That's what I thought. It's Regress, C8 like... Oracle, Distortion Strike, and a C Beyond, that's all. Uh, that you're counting C Beyond as a card there. I know. That, look, you asked me what does it look like, and you said board into, implying it needs to be a main color. Like, and it's not actually possible, so. Okie doke. We have 30, six cuts. Yeah, six cuts. All right, goodbye, Goblin Arsenai. Um, I'm going to try and... Do bet actually, you know what? I think the thing is, I need to do control of my instants and sorceries. Yeah, so let's get rid of ancient stirrings and ancient stirrings. Irresistible prey. Irresistible prey wouldn't be that bad because it's a. Is it? It draws into the card. Right. Traitor's instinct is also fine to get back multiple times. Do we want to play devastating summons? I don't think so. If that's a card you want a surreal memoir, right? Oh, yeah, because I'll be casting that multiple times in a game. Um, so, three more cuts? Two more cuts. Eldrazi two Temple is nice enough to assist. Yeah, off by one. So, uh... I mean, if I'm, if, I'm cutting, if I'm cutting cards to try to make this a little better, it's Spawning Breath and Irresistible Prey. Prey is... Vet Actually... What is this? It's, um... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so here's our 23. Something like that? Like... We can board into Spawning Breath if we need to... If somebody, like, paints a signal on their head. I mean, that's me leaving a hand of damn Emma Cruel in our deck. Now, would you rather have handed from Emma Cruel or Spawning Breath? Vengeance helps Pra pra Praise Vengeance. It lets you us get through with R and Arlid. Oh yeah, okay. I was wondering what he meant by that card though. Yeah. Um God Is I... there Hand of Emacool or or Spawning Breast. God, Hand of Emacool is like the worst Eldrazi. It's This is the Eldrazi like you know, in my mind, Ulmog Crusher is the smallest Eldrazi mm -hmm. because this one is fake and not real. Ha. It doesn't it does not exist. Eldrazi start at eight eight. And I don't think we can actually make the secondary ability go off on No. Hand. We only have Nest Invader. Hand of Emercruel is that bad because the investment for it doesn't match the power, like at all. Nine nine mana for a seven seven with Annihilator one, like if we're talking about other formats, even this format, six mana usually gets you six power. You know, yeah. a fox. Or Hellcarver Demon. Hell, you, know, then, you know, there's all sorts of six power. Like, even here, th I for five. So, like, to pay nine for this is to pay really out, you know. Like. You, could, you could take it out and replace it with Skeletal Worm and a Spoil Swamp. Oh, boy. I'm already... I'm already splashing Donglar Invoker. I, I'm not <laughs> splashing again for anything else. Let me. Let's just go. With, I'm gonna keep it in here. It's very begrudgingly of me, but 
we'll win the game with it and feel a little bit bitter about him. The, the, Maybe we won't. This but... is what we're using all of our mana for. If we have, if I have, if I have eight mana, if we have eight mana, we can we can use our invokers. We have two of them. Yeah, we have a Dawn Glare too. Like it's it's not as though we are of a lack of targets. Um, um so slight nod to green? Probably because just because green has the slightly more important It also it has Stomper Cup and Wild Heart Invoker. That's what I was thinking. Okay. We'd rather I think we'd rather have hand than Goblin Arsonist. Yeah, we're still playing Vincent. We got a problem with that. <laughs> with our three defenders, one of them being horrible. They'll all tap for mana, and they'll all tap to ping. It'll be fine. Mm-hmm. They can also keep us from dying to the teacher deck. Like. Real... Vincent will shoot stuff where stuff is your opponent. He only hits. I'm just going to continue to say how disappointed I am that Hand of Emma Cruel is not If That Betrays. I would feel much better about the creature. Even though even though If That Betrays is like a twelve mana eleven eleven, like He like he 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 has a cool ability though. Right. But he is the hugest, you know? It's it's probably too huge, honestly. Uh, we're bringing in one planes because we have uh, a couple Giant. a couple pieces of fixing. Like Undo Giant and Prophetic Prism both fix, and we we only are going to cast Don Glare and Broker when we can activate it anyways. Right, like yeah, basically the fact that I might have to wait till like turn seven to play this card is not an actual problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, once again, we were in a rise draft. No Palaka Worms spotted. Go, go figure. All right, it's so... okay. We saw, we got to look at him in Modern Masters 2. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got tempted by Satan in Modern Masters 2. By, uh... and we got tempted by Satan in this draft. We got defeated in this one. by. We even got shown the it that betrays. Anyway, uh... The other thing here is that we have a lot of reach. Lust for War, Double Stayer Shock, Forked Bolt, Vent Sentinel, Fakely Trader's Instinct, Surreal Memoir to get back Stayer Shocks. Like, if I can get my opponent to, like, single digits, it's possible I just kill them out. You, you could know? probably kill them from, like, 11. Yeah. Yeah, we have, we have, we have uh, Skull of the Worm. Hello. How's it going? Yeah, they have Remnants of Palaka up in our sideboard. You got a contaminated ground. That's pretty cool to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We needed eight more of them to be to make them playable. I mean, quite honestly, it was the loss of a pick, so the draft is still here. Mm -hmm. And we still have a pretty okay deck. I I, well, <laughs> I have I have I have streamed drafts with much much more lost picks. Good God three or four maybe well you remember those ones like back when my internet was doing flickering things? Yeah, back when your your cable was literally hanging on by a thread yeah and you would just miss three picks at a time yeah it was just like all right i'm gone and a back and i'm gone and a back the good old days yeah battle rattle shaman really wish a curve was slightly lower but Oh, don't you all in that rise for oh, you though? I think that's like, every format for me. We get bricked up and well, we're a gruel, so we get bricked up in four drops. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. We basically need overgrown. Well, at least all of our two drops are good for like that sort of thing. Yeah, all two of them. Uh, nobody here has ever done a contaminated ground deck. We always call it a joke. I've never seen anybody do it. However, I will make the caveat that I've seen somebody do the Spreading Seas joke. That's because mm. Spreading Seas is like a good card because it draws a card. I use, I played that once in a constructed event where it was four Spreading Seas, four Shimmering... I don't know. It's like a, it, it was a blue one, Enchant Land, name a land type, the land becomes that land type, overriding. Without, so it was Spreading Seas without the card draw... And then a bunch of Cascade cards. 
Oh, so you just cascade into your and into your land destruction. So the only point of this deck, the only thing it was there for, is because Jun's mana base was greedy as hell. Yeah. So you auto beat Jund almost every time because you just spreading seize their savage lands, and then they're like, "Hold on, how am I supposed to cast Sprouting Thornix off this again?" You're not. Oh, okay, all right. Let's just move on. Yeah. I'm... Yeah, Brave Swords got it. Um, Jund was the best deck because at the time, both before and after Jund, the format was defined by decks that just took every good card and slammed them in a pile. Uh, five color control was uh, one of the premium decks at the time that was like Vivid Lands Reflecting Pool to cast Cruel Ultimatum in the same deck as Cloud Thresher. Sometimes on back to back turns. Yeah. Alright. We, we've lost our die droll. That's our fine. Die we're we're right. fighting Momir. Mm. We are fighting Momir, and we are <laughs> keeping this hand, I guess. Yeah, this looks like real. This this looks really good. Turn three, uh send, I sent us a message. Good. Ah, thank you. Island, eh? It's a strong play. Oh man, more ramp. It's here. How's that a spy patrol? Okay, nope. hold my way, bro. Alright, so I'm gonna fuck with my opponent. You're gonna play uh, Overgrown Battlement? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna play the planes. Oh, oh okay. The planes, planes is the fucking with my opponent part. Yeah, we have no double red cards at all. Right. So it doesn't, it doesn't actually hurt. Mm -hmm. You wanna cast Lust for War on his Halimar Wave Watch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. We'll just have to put 10 mana into it for it to do anything. Uh huh. And by that point, he'll be lusted for ward several times. Uh huh. And it'll attack for zero. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, I, we might actually ramp up to that in, like, a weird world. So play the mountain if you want to watch yeah. more this turn. All right. Sadly, I can't play the Bulwark and the... Yeah. All right. We got a clock. <laughs> now we just want to draw, like, Ara Narlid. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, something. Like, here's the question. Does he just start spamming mana into Lust, into the Wave Watch? Or, like, does he, does he like, try to build a real board? You know? That, that, that's his que the question presented to, to our opponent. Um, because in three turns, if they just level, 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 that'll be a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah. But also, that means for three turns, they will do nothing. They do nothing but level, and we play Wild Heart Invoker next turn. Right, which means our clock back looks much bigger than theirs. Yeah, because we attack for four, they attack for six, but they'll be a bolted, or not yeah. bolted, but a shock. It's shock on the attack, right? It is shock on the, or I'm, it, it is bolt on the attack there. Oh, that that's card is much bolt. Better, that's much better than I thought it was. Yeah. Ha! Can't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... You get to have it, but... Oh, man, Domestication. Yep, that's a strong card. So we here's... We're a... never in blue, by the way. Because even if we wanted blue, this guy had, was picking Domestications. Yep. So here's a cool thing. If we draw, like, Battle Rattles and such, we might be able to steal that back. <laughs> okay. Wait, what does domestication fall off on? Four power. Um, so we need to have two oh, battle. Rattles. I'm sorry. I guess it's your end step. Hmm. Battle mm -hmm. rattle will not work. We would have to wild heart invoker. Well, then maybe we we have the option then of uh, wild heart invoker. Yep. I. I'm gonna go ahead and play the wild heart invoker because the battle rattle shaman does better if you play it into a board where you control a creature. 
Okay, so bolt number two happens. Yep. The big thing about him being able to domestication there is that is just the it ramped him too. Like that's that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. He's attacking us for zero. I could block and kill it. Would we want to? No. <laughs> that's bolting our opponent every turn. He might just chump Wild Heart with. Oh, well, I know. Overrun Battlement. That means it was a one for one that gained him four life. So, like, if that if that's really the worst case we have to live in, that's okay. And yeah, he's leveling up Knight of Cliffhaven. So you just play a battle rattle and swing in. Yep. Uh, 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 uh. Smite. Now we leave up Praise Vengeance. A card that we actually have. Yeah. Let's see if he decides to go to eight. All right. Okay, now he goes to five. <laughs> <laughs> can we draw stagger shock. Yeah, can we just draw stagger shock? Or forked bolt? Yeah, forked bolt at this point would do it. I'm not repping the smite because there's no attacks he can make that smite would be worth repping against. Because Knight of Cliffhaven flies and I'm not blocking Hellamar Wave Watch. Like at all. That's not happening. That's that's not real. Yeah, that, that's not happening. Now he's wondering what to do. Mm-hmm. Well, Hellamar Wave Watch is is bolt has has done zero damage to us and six to our opponent, so that's a pretty good card our opponent played. Okay. All right. Does he? Yeah, in with All the right. Cliff. <laughs> Come on in. Well, he's, he figures he has to win the game in two turns, so... All right, what's the follow-up? Halimar Wave Watch, the uh, the next. Probably leveling it up to get its toughness. Still chumps Wild Heart Invoker. Right, so I'm going to split the damage, of course, then. So Battle Rattle will pump itself. <laughs> Have we drawn every card on time forever? Uh, sure. I sure. Th whatever. I think every time we've set a card, we've drawn it. I do. We have to actually play the stagger shock, though. Well, our opponent's going to go to two. On their so attack. Just... So do we just show him we have the burn, or do we let him burn out on lust for war? If I have the option to use stagger shock to kill my opponent, I'm going to use it. Okay, that's that's the question I was asking. Yeah, like there there's actually no way I would choose not to kill my opponent when I have it, just to try to preserve information. Because our opponent could find a way out. Yeah. I'm thinking of the ways they could have the way out, and most of them will use to just instant speed respond to whatever they're doing with Stagger Shock. Although they would have to do it here, like regress on Halimar Wave Watch. Right, that's why I'm not using the Stagger Shock now. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, we're playing three mana shock. Note, it is not shock. <laughs> <laughs> Note, not actually shock. Okay, so our opponent has Halimar Wave Watch is is the Leveler's deck. Okay, how about that? Is more is likely Leveler's has a domestication. We never actually picked up a naturalize, huh? Uh... Oh, like we have a praise vengeance is like the fakest answer to it. Yeah, praise vengeance is pretty funny. I guess the question is, do we see anything that needed to be spawning breast or wrapped in flames? Everything he had was... It was like a 2-2 or something on yeah. play, or an 0-2 or whatever. So I don't think those cards do anything. So no. like... Yeah, I don't think we have any sideboards to make as of right now. Let's just run it back. Do you think Raphael Cuniff is cunning? 
No. <laughs> Mike, don't kill your wizard. What? <laughs> Damn it. Uh, the leveler's deck is is a powerful one. Yeah, it's a deck that would make you play a two mana one one flyer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we could have sideboarded devastating summons. It's the deck that's most powerful card is a gray ogre. <laughs> yeah, gray ogre is his most powerful card. Because it's a gray ogre that generates sixteen mana. <laughs> <laughs> like that's, that's pretty good. I, I'm coming to play. Make 16 mana, okay? <laughs> Actual text. I love it when it when it does that. When it's like, okay, just level up all these levelers. Like your Halimar Wave Watch, your Cav your your uh, your Outrider, and your Caravan uh, guy. Or your Haz the Spy Patrol. Or your, yeah, oh, or your, your Enclave Cryptologist. Oh my god. Or your Lighthouse Chronologist. Uh, oh. oh. Yeah, da, da, ba, da, da. Well, Let's see if we start the wait. Yep. Welcome. It's time for the wait. Oh. <laughs> Kind of tired. Yeah, maybe they crashed as well. Oh yeah, I was gonna say if, if I've I've. All right, our opponent's back. Also, our hands sweet. It looks familiar. <laughs> I think we lead with a nest invader though, unless yeah. we draw something else to play. We're not gonna trade to instinct this guy. Right, Skywatcher it up. Yeah, then we definitely lead with the nest invader. Yeah, we can send in our th our two ones, well, or a four two, or four two. This is a creature that Stagger Shock owns. That is a creature worth playing Spawning Breath on as well. Yep. Anyway, my hope is that my opponent just levels. And we battle rattle and climb and then, on in. Yeah, we, then we sack the spawn to battle rabble and attack battle rabble, battle rabble, rabble rabble. So this is okay. so this is a wind drake that is like a fake wind drake, four mana wind drake, but also gets much better than a wind drake. Yeah, we come slightly better than a snapping drake. Well, the difference between the power and toughness there is is quite high. I, like, I guess a 4-2 kills in 5 hits. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, speaking of 4-2s. You know, speaking of 5 hits. What if I'm Gruul? So you don't want him to, to kill his guy so that we can hit him with it. Yep. So we can hit him for 6 with it. Yep. In the best world, our opponent would literally have nothing to do but level up Skywatcher Adept. He's got a four. In the actual world, Griffin. he's probably going to... So, you're going to like my dumb play. Is it Traitor's Instinct, your Battle Rattle Shaman? It'll get it back. <laughs> it'll also let us attack for, like, a million. Yeah, it'll, it'll get it back under our control. <laughs> and we're not... Yeah, it doesn't say random minion, is that <laughs> Yeah, not not This is this is like a Dark Iron Dwarf though, yeah. It's it's fairly like a repeatable Dark Iron Dwarf. Anyway, um I want my guy back. We're just making Surreal Memoir alive, uh wait, end of his turn? I'm still taking my guy back. Okay. I know We we talked about this last time. It is the end of his turn. Oh, we're just trying to kill our opponent. Yes. If it gets to be a problem, we can fork bolt his guy. 
I mean, it's fine. I think four bolting the Skywatcher. The big problem there is that Overgrown Battlement does nothing on the board. Yeah. Like, apps, I guess, like, it would make it so, like, he'd have to pump the Battle Rattle Shaman. Like, he can't pump the Battle Rattle Shaman, though. Like, if he pumps it, he, we get it back. Wait, so we can play Overgrown Battlement just to try to trick him? But it's a May as well. Like, I don't Yeah, well, we would just try to trick him, I mean. Oh, what did he send us a message? Oh, uh, oh, he fell for the trick that I almost did. And what was that? Uh, so when you click yes on Battle Rattle Shaman, priority doesn't retain at that point. It actually moves directly to... Uh, uh, so he skipped his combat. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's... Um, yeah, I almost did that the first time. Like, I almost did. Like, it was very close to me getting owned like that. Maybe we do play Overgrown Battlement. Well, we have to absolutely do. Um, I'm thinking what we want to fork bolt here. Well, if you don't fork bolt the Knight of Cliffhaven now, you never will be able to. Oh, no, it's already a 2-3. So, okay. so you're, it's... you're too late. <laughs> so it's either Skywatcher or our own Battle Rattle Shaman. Yeah. Which is weird because in some ways they're the same amount of power I'm removing for the board from the board. Mm. Not sure enough. Like... Hmm. I like to draw Undo Giant. Yeah, that'd probably be... I'm just gonna... I'm gonna kill the Skywatcher while I can. He'll be able to attack me for four right now with that Knight of Cliffhaven. The problem is that's gonna get pretty large pretty fast. Yeah. Like, he can make that a 4-4, a four, four, and then he's attacking for six. Yeah. We have Stagger Shocks in the deck. Helmar. Also, we never what? got a spore cap spider, did we? No. Uh, generate bop, bop. 10 mana. All right. 10 mana for free. <laughs> Welcome to that card. So uh, he probably won't make the same mistake twice. So now we basically have to win through Ulamog's Crusher. I don't know if we can. Like, at least alone, we need something else to back it up. Or back to back stagger shocks. I actually think that would be too slow. I think it would be too. Our current issue is we're taking six in the air next turn and then taking another six in the air after that. <laughs> you know, just our current problem. Yeah, just, just the current one, not the actual problem. The actual problem is we're dead. <laughs> Soon. I needed that draw to be Eldrazi Temple, to be entirely ah. honest with you. Because <laughs> he's quite obviously leveling up the knight because it becomes a four. It becomes Sarah Angel on the full level, and then with Battle Rattle Shaman, he gets uh, much more power. Yeah, even if I I had been a bit more judicious in how I used Traitor's Instinct, I wasn't winning this game. Because that, yeah. that got me eight damage there, but I had nothing to follow it up with for three turns, and that was the biggest issue. <laughs> we also could have drawn, like, Praise Vengeance earlier. Two Praise Vengeance or Battle Rattle Shaman. Um, that doesn't keep us alive. No, it doesn't. And there's no point in showing a crusher to an opponent that's going to kill me. Yeah, just pass and see what happens. Maybe he forgets to attack and forgets to block. This is my only actual way out of the game. Damn it. <laughs> ah, <okay. laughs> I needed my opponent to make a, a, a mistake and block with Knight of Cliffhaven.
because then I could have bolted it down and, like, tried to stay alive in this way. However, now, this, this way, yep. You showed us a card. A card we could have assumed he had, but still. Yeah. Also of note, if he would have attacked with the Sky Watcher on that one turn, uh, we would have been dead already. Let's see if he can do it now. Okay, he's just going wide. Okay. He knows how to turn his creatures sideways. So, levelers. Again, so, confirmed. So, we need to draw instant speed removal in time. Or praise vengeance to deal with his domestication he's had every turn for. Yeah. Um, that card is awkward for us because we don't... We don't have good ways of dealing with it. Yeah, we did have five spells in the rest of the lands there. Well, I think we just ship it back, see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. A little awkward, but I'll take it. I, He's got a stagger shot. I, I was going to say, I don't think this is awkward at all. Like, We have Lust for War to throw on a Halimar Wave Watch. We have Stagger Shock to two for one. Yeah, my only, my only problem with it is it did not have a Nest Invader in it, but really, what are the, what are the, the odds <laughs> are like very low that you have a Nest Invader or Battle Rat, or ramp, uh, Overgrown Battlement in our opener. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Prisley would have been good, too. So if this is Halimar Wave Watch, I lust for war. If it's Night of Cliffhaven, I land and pass. Land pass, hope, wait for him to do something, and then whatever he does is, oh, hello, turn late. Yeah, I was going to say, you're a turn late, and that's not... Day late and a dollar short. Not playable for, like, the next three turns now, so... Hey, okay. let us cast Crusher. Here's the hope. Level. No. Land level. Land teacher. Oh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty great, too. Mm-hmm. So I'm willing to take two from this. Plane does not hurt us at all so far. Okay. So you be now because I took two damage from that, I get a two for one. Yeah. If I if I had shot that in combat, he would not play the Drake and I'd just dome him. So we play Wildheart here? Well, first things first. Yeah, we play Wild Heart because it can't be domesticated. And you to you. Two for one on. Hell yeah. We are here. Play a... Play a wave watch. <laughs> a vindicator, okay. Is that worth lust for warring, or do we just play Battle Rattle Shaman here? I think it's play Battle Rattle Shaman here. Just attack for six. Yeah, yeah. he's going to domestication back, but... Like, I think I can race him. Yeah, with lust for war, I think you can race him. Right, and Traitor's Instinct. That creature's controller. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, it would. It would, yeah, not. It would. It would shoot us. You can't do the thing. Yeah. No smite. So let's move. So this leveler is strong. By the way, this is a freaking pillar field ox with lots of text. I'll tell you, this goes planes double level here. Instead of the domestication, he's definitely playing right now. No, it's, I was just say it's venerated teacher to double level. <laughs> well, still. Mm hmm. Well, now it's a 3 6. And so it trades with Wildheart. Yeah. The biggest issue. So Lust for War is likely the play then? Yeah. Setting up our Traitor's Instinct turn. Yeah. Okay. That is pretty huge. 
So let's go Battlement. Lust for War on... The Vindicator, I think? Hmm. I'm certain. I think the Vindicator, because that's the one I want tapped, so it's not in the way. It's also, we can block it pretty comfortably with, uh... Well, actually, stealing that might be the game. Yeah, stealing it might be the game, so... So put it... Okay, what if we put it on Teacher, and then stealing the Vindicator might just be the game and pu by pumping our team. So we, yeah. want, we want the Vindicator to be the one he wants to hold back to block. So this goes on Teacher. It could go on Drake, but I want to, like, force this 3-3 three, three into the 0-4 situation. Yeah, something we can... He's probably going to attack with the Drake anyways. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, sure. I don't care what this goes on, because I'm not attacking this turn. Yes. So, yeah, stealing the Cabria Vindicator might just be the way, in the, like, out to win this game. Because if he levels up the Cabria Vindicator, the Champion's Drake becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Uh-huh. Then he attacks me for, you know, 5 plus 3. That doesn't happen because Overgrown Battlement just gets in the way. Mm -hmm. And then he bolts himself. And he doesn't have Regress Mana at the moment, which is the, other, the only card I'm really scared of. So he goes down to 11. We can attack for... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, with him having a Lust for War creature? Yeah. Ah, I even get to play R&R late on the turn if I want. Anyway... Well, Unified Will doesn't, like, counter here. He could have, uh... He could deprive me. He could deprive. There's, I guess... Play r and at first. Is there a Monolique? I don't think there is, but... <laughs> wow! <laughs> Can you say can you say red? Thank you, TK Cat. Yeah. Can you say absolutely red? All right. Um, let's give you the GG. But not the GG you think you're getting. <laughs> Zoink, Scoob. All right, that threaten gives plus two, plus two, so he should just be dead here. Yeah, well, yeah, he's dead for 15. <laughs> there we go. Hooray! <laughs> just the good old bait and switch. Counterspell on Ara Narlin. Well, the thing is, that had to happen. Because the Lust for War plus, uh, it, it, you know, for him, Lust for War plus Battle Rattle Shaman says... I have a 5-3 that can't be blocked by you. You're on a Lust for War clock. You'll lose that race. So he has yeah. to counter that. That's it. I put him in the no-win situation where I had both ways to victory. Because r and Arlet is just as crushing, just one turn slower. So anyway, let's return we'll to return data. To, to data. We have to wait. <coughs> Waiting! And I have to try to not be sleepy. Good luck. Which will probably be pretty easy. We have like, lust for war. That is one of my favorite lightning bolts. It's a pretty good lightning bolt. It's done something like eighteen damage for <laughs> us, yes, so far. It's just, it's just so good. You you get uh, you get to remove a block. It's 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 such a like full package of a red card, you know. Removes blockers. It does damage to your opponent. It forces a creature to attack. You know it it. it Forces terrible combats, like all sorts of all sorts of different things. It's 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 great. I and mean, what if he guard duty his own guy? Ooh. 
Well, it's still like a two for one. Yeah, all right, right. Guard duty. You basically cast a three mana guard duty, discard a card, or whatever. Yeah. Basically, the fact that, well, like, he held up double blue, but he, he leveled up his Vindicator like we all thought. So it wasn't like a 100% read that, like, that he had to do that. But. You it know, was a good read, though. Yeah. Well, like. It's it's quite good for it was a quite good for him to do it that way as have it that way as well you know without the sixth land it it looks like it's okay that was his natural play but uh, he he had a damn good deck that is the leveler's deck right there his his deck was pretty cool mm -hmm. it lacked the six narcolepsies that make blue decks good but it had the domestication which is the <laughs> other card that makes blue decks good. Mm -hmm. I also think he only had one venerated teacher. I think he had two. Well, now we will never know. I know. Well, wow, we we can't find out. It's over. If you can win one more game, you'll win a pack that you cannot sell. <laughs> Worthless gold. Other Rise seems to be like their most popular flashback format. They do it all the damn time. I think it is. Like Rise and they they don't do it very often, but everybody goes head heads over heels over. Uh, it's me. I'm everybody. Asia. I'm everybody. It's me. I'm that person. I, do, I don't even I don't even care how crappy you say it is. I love it. What invasion? Yeah. Okay. I, th I thought you were you're acting like I was talking about. Um, Shadowmore. No, no, no. I, I just knew... I, I thought you were going to say Invasion. Cause... I, I was talking about Invasion. Which I like Invasion, but I kind of hate it. I, I... My favorite factoid about Invasion is that throughout the entire block, there's, what, like 16 common bounce spells? It's absurd. <laughs> yeah, but some of them also have shock attached to them. I, uh, maybe that's common sure. and uncommon. Maybe I'm maybe I'm a little up on that, you, but, you, like... You can get your your bound spells though, like your either mutation or whatever. You your, get your raging sapperlings. river, or your recoil, or your jilt, or your washout, or your like. Washout and 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 recoil are both uncommons. No recoil. Um, recoil's a common. Washout's an uncommon. I knew re I knew washout was. I thought recoil recoil got reprinted and it's like a plane chase as an uncommon. Yeah, I didn't. Jilt is super good though. Because it's also a burn spell. Hmm. Isn't it like shock on top of boomerang? J uh, jilt? Yeah. Jilt is shock a creature on top of bounce a creature. Yeah, it's two mana. Oh, oh god. Repulse? Bounce target creature, draw a card? <laughs> yep, repulse. I'm with Furry Gopher as well. Like you said, Shadowmore is certainly one of my favorites. Because you just, like, if you know the trick, and the trick is it's a monocolored format. Um, That's the trick. I, I, I think I'm, I'm certain we've we've shown that off. The other trick is pick belly, not cohort. Yeah. Cohort. 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 Because it's the only good creature in the entire format. That's no, no. not true, but I'm going to keep saying it. You'll, you're... It's the okay. best creature in common in the format. How about that? Can we agree on that? Don't think so. I, I like... In the format, at common, it's one of them. I don't. I don't know if I could say straight the best, but l let me okay. explain. Let me explain what no means be, by explaining Shadowmore. And by explaining Shadowmore, I'm going to go into here and show you a cycle of five cards. This will explain everything you need to know about Ballynock Cohort. I think you know exactly what five cards I want, right? I uh, think the cohorts. No, 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 no. The 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 hybrid drops the hybrid oh the, the like the the wasp lancer no 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 uh they're commons uh power uh, the hill giants yeah yeah power exactly three toughness exactly three um cmc exactly four all right here they are barrington craig heads mud brawl raider <laughs> raven's run dragoon suit walkers Wanderbine root cutters, and also there's apparently another hill giant just chilling over here too. And wild slayer elves. Yeah. So, the obvious like the the, the power of the Ballynock cohort 
is uh also you had 10 of the green white ones i wonder what colors you drafted the most yeah well i have 10 ballynot cohorts <laughs> yeah they go together right anyway there are three three with first strike in a format defined by three threes that's it mm. Also, almost all the other cohorts are bad. Basically, crab apple cohort was, is the second most playable. I was going to say, actually, have, if you ever have to play against somebody with the red cohort, like, that sucks. Like, with a good deck with the red cohort. At the 2 2 Haster? Look, you can get run down pretty damn quick when you're trying to play Hill Giants. Yeah, if you can, if you can get, like, five Mud Brawler cohorts and then, like, some 1 mana 1 1s to go with them. Then maybe you can make it work. Yeah, these are the cohorts, though. I yeah, think... but Crab Apple Cohort is just like a 5 on a 5 5. Uh, yeah, which is just good. Yeah, which is just like, okay. Also, I... he even he's like a Dirkwood Boars. And then you have Ash and More Cohort, who is unplayable. Compare the damn two. Look at this crap. Okay, for one more mana, you lose a point of toughness. Yep. That That's it. That's all you get. Sweet. Thumbs up. A, a plus great design, guys. I guess Briarberry Cohort is okay, too. There's a deck where it's really good in. But it's mostly Ballynock Cohort. But yeah, so anyway, that, that that's... Shadowmoor is all about the four mana 3-3, three, three, um, which it contrasts with Invasion, which is all about the five mana 3-3. Three, three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, Armored Ascension is a card we never saw in our, in our streamed drafts. Oh my god. All, every single card in this cycle is, like... They're all good. Armored Ascension is just the best. I guess it grants flying. Uh, they're, you know what? I'm going to say Armored Ascension is the best because turn three, Ballynock Cohort, turn four, Armored Ascension is just, like, laughing at your opponent forever. Mighty Dictron said it. Uh, was it me who said it? You want to you wanna see, see a snid? You, you will see a snid. I'm going to show you a snid. No, I'm not going to show you a snid. We're not starting our snid. Here it is! It's a six oh, mana three three. The six mana three three. <laughs> Look at the, these are the only two snids in Magic. No, he's he's a five mana three three. Look, he makes you sacrifice a land. Six six. So you, when you play him, you have five lands. Um, anyway, let's get. They back eroded this. the card to make it do that. Nope. Would you like to play first? Yeah, I'm I'm in. Um. um Stagger shocks here, so this hand's keepable. <laughs> I mean, that's all I've got, right? Like. Yeah. What, my Electron like C snid? Alright, so I'm gonna do the tricking my opponent thing. Again, that planes. What the hell? 100% planes log. Here, 100% hero planes. Come on, prophetic prison. Okay. No point in playing the mountain. Alright. Okay. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. It's just a kiln fiend guy. I'm gonna play this, and it's gonna get stagger shocked, right? That's okay. We have our own stagger shock. Uh, yes, I'd like to use Battle Royal Shaman's ability. Okay, it didn't get stagger shocked. Flame slash. Yeah, he flame slashes this. Fork, fork bolt. What is going on? I... Seven cards in hand. Uh, I'm scared. He's got seven Ulamogs crushers I know. in hand. It's, it's really strong. And this his is... own battle rattle shaman. Dongler! Dongler <laughs> invoked. Now, do you just attack into that? I'm just going to fork bolt. <laughs> hey! Yeah, I'm going to fork bolt. Uh, one and one. Do you even play Dongler? Nah, maybe. Anyway, one and one. If my opponent has, like, a trick, that's okay. Because we can Stagger Shock? Yeah. Right, let's attack. If we play Dongler, we can't hold up Stagger Shack. Are we okay with that? 
I guess it also lets us attack for six every turn. Let's do this. Let's 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 play it. Like our opponent could have their own. I don't think our opponent has their own stagger shock. Forked bolt doesn't own me here. There's no arc lightning. Arc lightning's the card you know in other formats that I would auto lose to here, but it's you know not here. He could play a land, play Knight of Cliffhaven, and level it, but I guess and we just and we just attack with battle rattle shaman as a four two. Right. Also. I mean, it's Donglair Invoker. I'm. It, the best part about Donglair Invoker, it's a damn two power flyer for three. Like it's a Dusk Imp. Oh man, Totem Heart Beast. Oh god. All right. I guess we're now the the ground is now flubbed. It's it's over. What are you getting? Well, buddy? that's we got to we got to play Donglair for that. We can yep. still attack for four. Guard duty. <laughs> okay, that only kind of solves Donglair Invoker. Yeah. That's sweet. Hey. That's really sweet. It means if we draw land, we can do whatever we want. Or if we draw a battle rampart or whatever we have in our deck. Yeah, right. So he's going to guard duty the Donglair Invoker, which makes our Aranar lid better. Uh-huh, uh huh. Wait, is R and R with each one you control, or each one on the battlefield? I feel like it's each on in play, but I'm I. That's only a feeling because I don't read cards. Yeah, I thought it was each one you control. Yeah, him spinning the guard duty would be great, considering we have a little Mox Crusher in our. What just happened? Oh, you're just gonna look at R and R on the battlefield. Hey, you knew better than me. Yeah, if he spins it on on the flyer that's great right so I mean, probably I mean, don't play little Mox crusher until he plays it because we have dongler invoker if he just attack with dongler invoker well, right and especially with stagger shock like in our hand like our... i mean if we have like the eight mana up to play yeah. crusher we can yeah. just activate dongler invoker yeah dongler invoker and we win the game also hey! by the way by the way Hey, Power we up! We can cast Ulamog's Crusher <laughs> now! Hey! <laughs> Power up! Or we can just tap all our opponent's creatures. Thank you! Arm sword. Okay. I he's, sending, he's sending Battle Rattle to his death. I'm sorry. So now do you just tap all his creatures, or do you... I think we play Crusher. Hmm. <sighs> Hard to say. Right, like, like, I mean, here's the thing. Tap all his creatures. Just lets you attack for six or four? Yeah, for four. Um, We'll get bolted. Our opponent goes to seven. I could just play Ulamog's Crusher, but I lose Battle Rattle. I could also. You could also option. play S Spider Umbra on yeah. Battle Rattle. <laughs> yeah, that, that's comedy option. <laughs> we just suit up and we go. I would like that if we had R and R lit in hand. Hmm. I guess if we attack him for four, we have Stagger Shock in our hand. I'm. I want to play that Ulmox Crusher. I think. I uh, know. Let's play Ulmox Crusher. First things first. Does he want to trade, like, a fake, uh, you know, bolt for... Now if he just wants to attack or whatever, he should block. He should block. 
I guess it says open up the option of stagger shock. Right, but I think that's. I think we need a threat. Yeah, I, I like having hands. a threat too. Also, we can play stagger shock on our opponent's head. Now the hope is he didn't fake us out with like the second guard duty or whatever. But even with the second guard duty, what? I have a, a eight eight on the board. Is he gonna? Steal my shit? I don't know. Like, steal it. Vent Sentinel. Def this one is Defenders You Control. Yeah, Defenders You Control. So we're. Now here's what you, how a Dongler Invoker does, yeah. everybody. Hey, nice smite you seem to be repping. That's pretty cool. You know, like, I, I, I think you got a pretty nifty trick up your sleeve. <laughs> oh, wait. Shit. And now all of your permanents are going away. What do you mean he smite? He just attacks. Doesn't... What do you mean just... smite doesn't work if you can't block? He just attacks. He doesn't. We don't even have to tell him to. He knows exactly what we want him to do. I know. That's really the strongest point of Ulamog's Crusher. It's like, you want to attack? He attacks. I just noticed we're fighting complex sauce. <laughs> I'm so happy about Ulamog's Crusher getting some, getting the lumps in. This is this is the card that defines the draft format to me, and I'm so happy it's here. I like how we have both of the best common bombs in Rise and are winning the game with them. I think every card we have is in some way like they are an Arlid and an Aura to go with it. Stagger Shock, mm -hmm. Dongler, the best Dork. <laughs> okay. I guess if I wanted my opponent dead in a different manner, I could, but I'm just going to do this instead, because... Oh, I'm going to get shot for one, though, right? All right. So... We never picked up that naturalize. No, we didn't. Ship it back. Take or it do, we know, do we want spawning breath because of his dongler invoker? Our opponent does have a Dongler Invoker, which is the w card we said Spawning Breath needed to exist against. What comes out there? Wolves are real memoir. And a Vimrapool. I'm just gonna... The Crusher. I, I love you, Ulamog's Crusher. Yeah, Ulamog's Crusher. Ulamog's Crusher knows exactly how, you know, you you play. He knows to attack, he destroys two permanents, and then does eight damage. In that order. <laughs> mm-hmm. Although my favorite Eldrazi is probably, uh, what's that guy's name? The guy who picks a guy up from the grave. The Artisan of Kozilek. Artisan of Kozilek is a really good one. Mm-hmm. Are uh, there other new cards that were shown off today? Oh, what's this? In blue, white one, instant. Up to two target creatures get plus one, plus two until end of turn. You gain two life. Yeah, the Tactics in Tandim. It's an okay card. That's a common trick. I'm sure I'll lose games to that. Hey, look, a mulligan. What, finally? Oh, look at this. Like, there's no way this sticks around. Yeah, finally a mulligan. Keep. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. So we fear no donglers. I'm playing Nest Invader as an aggressive play here instead of the Overgrown Battlement as a defensive it, play. Because we have no four to ramp into. Also, if we drew one, we could play it. But. Lust for war on. Yep. <laughs> oh, we were attacking anyways. So that just bolts us a little bit. That's fine. Alright, so now I don't even need to tell Nest Invader what to do. Yeah, he knows what to do. Yeah, do it. Play Orcish Cannonade. 
Continue playing Orcish Cannonade. All right, Orcish Cannonade drew your card. Just keep playing it. No, 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 no I'm tapping the Orcish Cannoneers, okay? Ah, uh, okay. All right. Okay. So Nest Invader attacks. He, is... he takes two. Yep. Oh, it might be okay, except for the amount of... Wait. Yeah, green? Or Orcish Artillery, yeah. That's the... Green? What about green? Yeah, oh, opponent's Heart. green? Yeah. There's Totem Guide Heart Beast, so this looks familiar to me. It's a guard duty to put on our Nest Invader. <laughs> Combo. Snake Umbra. So, um, you know, here's a cool thing about Snake Umbra. It's one of the only cards that was more recently printed that does this that doesn't say combat. Mm, it's got the old Curiosities text on it. Uh -huh. So you can infinite with that one guy. Huh. I think I'm going to start spending spells now. We could Traitorous Instinct after he puts the Snake Umber on it. He's putting it on Vent Sentinel, though, is basically the point I made there. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because it doesn't do anything here. I block forever. Yeah. So he knows what he's doing. I'm going to assume my opponent knows what they're doing with their own card. If I have to... If Wait it... a second. Surreal only returns instance. That's fine. Okay. So we need to draw like a stagger shock. We need to draw a red source before that too, but yes. Mostly I wanted to try to I want to try to get my opponent into a false sense of security. Okay, so there's that obvious play I talked about. I guess he is dead to Stagger Shock, Stagger Shock. And then here's Vent Sentinel, tap draw a card, deal one damage to us. But do you see the truest power I have? What is the truest power? I'm just going to shoot my own nest invader, screw this. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just screw this noise. I'm done. Like we're, we're we're done here. I'm not gonna win this game if I have to keep attacking, bolting myself any longer. Oh, that's what forked bolt was made for. Uh huh. Also, uh huh. All right, so if we shock him down to six, we could shock him down to four. If we draw a red source, we could just surreal memoir and like kill him. But the rebound happened before our draw step, right? Yeah. Yes. We go down to four here on the attack. He can shoot us for one, maybe two, if he finds a creature and attack us for... Full. Well, if he, if he has the eighth land, he can attack us for full, for four yeah, there, and we're dead. So, so we have to... 
So do we have to kill our nest invader, or do we actually maybe not? We have to kill a dongler invoker somehow. Forked bolt. Yeah. So do we stagger shock our opponent, or do we stagger shock our nest invader? Okay. Well, here. How about this play? If I stagger shock our opponent, nest invader attacks. If he chooses not to block, he just dies. But if I stagger shock my opponent, like, he freaking knows something's up, right? Like, there's no way that actually works. Yeah, true enough. I guess then he knows that the block nest invader, which will kill it anyways. Well, but we'll get bolted in the process. We will get bolted in the process, yes. Yeah. Screw this. Like Mountain off the top. Yeah, just mountain off the top and we'll kill our opponent. I don't care about any of this crap. Not mountain, but whatever. M moving to combat. Let's see if he what he decides. Okay. One and one. And land for the turn. So we go to three. We still have a blocker for Totem Guide Heart Beast. We need either a red source or another burn spell. Yes. The so other problem, puts... the biggest, I think the bigger issue is just the fact that, like... Our opponent's outdrawing us. Yeah. yeah. So how many mountains do we have left? Uh, five. Was it six, yeah. and, six and seven, and then one plane. No, uh, seven, eight. So there's six left in the deck. So we're we're six and twenty-seven on the draw. Six with Undo Giant and Undo Giant's tapped. Won't 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 do it. Not immediately. No. Uh, well, we, we need it immediately. We'll lose the game otherwise. Fedic Prism. That gives us a second draw, but we will be one mana short. No, we won't be one man. We'll be fake one mana short because I could use my battlements, but I won't have enough. Uh, Actually, no, no, no. I can stagger shocks in an instant. So, prophetic prisms yeah. alive. Draw two. Okay. Um, also, if my opponent draws a wall, we're in a world of hell too. Like, because like if his vent sentinel actually start. Okay. It's like our opponent knows what we want. Um, because if he can play produce a second wall, his vent sentinel like if he can make that clock two turns instead of three. We're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> but if we can still keep it at three turn clock, if. Now that I know Surreal Memoir is only sorcery instance, I like it a lot less. I like it a lot more. Mondu Giant. Okay, not killing us. Also not producing any more attackers that would get through. Like, it's not a wall, so... Again, red source is the draw we want. Uh, there's a couple draws that are like fake live. That is absolutely the reverse of a live draw. But I guess we surreal memoir, anyways. Because that picks up stagger shock, and then we take. We take a damage. She attacks next turn. We chump. Takes another damage. We go to one stagger shock. He goes to one. We don't have the red or the other card to kill him with, but we still have to try it because there's still technically draws that could win us the game. Actually, no, we're fine. Okay, we might actually still be able to win this. Okay. It's it's basically, I think. It, it Us winning this game involves our draw being like Prophetic Prism, so, you know... Also, somehow, some way, if Stagger Shock didn't have rebound, it would be better. Yeah, if it just did all its damage at once. No, no, no. 
If this were three mana frickin' shock. This card has rebound and it doesn't target. Oh, so you could just cast it immediately. Yes. Okay. Let's see if we're just dead here, though. I'd like to see more out of our opponent. Another wall, perhaps? Oh, I know what he's doing. Do you know what uh, he's doing? He's, he's getting guard duty. Hell yeah. We're going to get killed by guard duty. Rip us by by way of guard duty. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We were defeated by a complex sauce. Mm -hmm. Guard duty. He just slams it on Andu Giant. Yeah, or whatever. It doesn't matter. Give, it, Totem God Heart Beast is the correct one because he can... Attack with the other ones. Yeah. He's, then... he's just, he's just going to juice us and then we're... see what happens. Well, he, we're dead. That's what happens. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> so now... Uh... Moving along, um... Hmm. Ara Narlet is hella good in this matchup. If we can actually draw it, yeah. Can we splash Ara Finesse? Mm, you control, buddy. That's, uh, that's even a worse that card. That card gets worse the more you look at it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't think there's anything we can do here. Let's just draw red. But yeah, so with, with Surreal Memoirs, we only have three cards. Four cards, I guess, it picks up with the Spawning Breath. I totally whiffed on that card actually being instant until like halfway through uh, the first time we saw it. Well, who reads cards? Especially... I don't. Rise of the Eldrazi cards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We could, we, I could do devastating summons, but I'm not. I'm, I'm not. We're not that brave. I'm not. I'm, I'm good. I mean, you don't want to sacrifice all your lands. Against our opponent, it wouldn't be like the worst, but you know. I wonder what the optimal amount of lands to discard to it is, or to sack. If you sack one, all. you get two one ones. Yeah. If you sacrifice all, you get two all alls. <laughs> if you sacrifice five, you get two five fives. Three mm. might be. Um, if it's late game, I would sack all but four. Really? Mm. Depends on what I had already cast at that point. Well, like most of it's our deck could be cast have... off four or less. Yeah, it's worse when you have Ulamox Crusher in your deck, I guess. We'll get there. Oh, no, no, we just cast the Crusher first, and then we're golden. Would you like to play first? Yes. This is actually quite keepable. Uh, Andu Giant makes it a, a lot more real. Yeah, we have... And also this combo. Yeah, we have a couple turns to draw land. We only have to draw one of any kind. Even Eldrazi Temple will work. Yep. Unless he, like, forked bolts or spawn. Hey, there we are. Yeah, okay. And he can't put the Lust for War on it immediately, so we get the front foot. Okay. That's a good right. card. That is a very good card. That's my favorite piece of fixing in the, in the game of Magic. I think it is the platonic ideal of fixing. So, uh. Hey, friend! Better to play Andu Giant first? Yeah, Andu Giant's going in first. Attack with the spawn. Okay, good. We're getting full value out of Eldrazi spawn. You got to attack. You got our raid trigger. Mm hmm. 
use yes. Mountain. Three mana, two four. <laughs> with rampant growth attached. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Let us put our opponent to the sword as much as we really can. Oh, let's put that to the damn sword! <laughs> yeah, Karga Dragon Lord. Well, that's why our opponent is in red. Yeah. Oh, do I want to try and give get him, like, bust him? I think we can attack and see what happens. No blocks. Yeah, no blocks. Then he'll go to pump it because he wants to have a 4-4 four, four flyer. And then we can slam jam him. I'm willing to get owned for it. Well, there's very little reason not to. Like, what prevention shields are there in this format? Oh, uh, there's one. There's a... a white... Yeah, the rebound one. White rebound. Do the thing. That costs two, though, doesn't it? I that costs one. I think it's just one. Vent Sentinel. He's tapping out anyways. All right, whatever. This is I'm stagger shocking that now. <laughs> so do we shock our opponent or do we shock the giant? Giant actually gets more damage through if we shock yeah, it. Let's just, let's just attack for four yeah. instead. Mountain would be nice. Mountain would be nice. Mountain would be pretty okay. So yeah, if I shock my opponent, it, it, it's effectively the same, but this gives our opponent... We might also draw a stagger shock. Oh. Oh. We can slap that on Nest Invader, Nest and then it isn't a trade. Yeah, and then it, like, also Andu Giant isn't, uh... Yeah, and we can just play R and R lid as a 3-3. Three, three. <sighs> I wish I could throw that on R and R lid, but I think you're right that this is a little more valuable this way. Just because not only is it not only is it immediately more damage, but it's uh, also a stronger, uh, like, spread, you know? Yeah, it spreads. It puts, yeah, instead of putting it all on, it makes Nest Invader a, a more valuable creature. And this sucks, but I'm gonna do it. What, Narlin? It, it does. It... Trust me. I this this R and Narlin will never attack. Oh. His play is la prob more than likely land totem guide heart beast guard duty though R and Narlin because he can't afford to not do that. He's definitely done that many times before. He's also shown two totem guide heart beasts. Much the same, I need to put that threat out there because if he can't do that... Then he's going to start taking some lumps. Yeah. It's taking five a turn. Well, he can't afford that more than once. He can't afford that once, actually. We have some our surreal memoir. Mm-hmm. Which might be the play next turn if we've got Jack else to do. Right. Technically, the I would like to have seven mana when I cast that card. To immediately cast the stagger shock. Yes. So here's Totem Heart Beast. Oh. All right, that's super good. I just he, he we still... just slam in. Yeah. He can kill Andu Giant or do we just attack with Arnarlid then? What? No, we attack all out. Like we're holding burn, right? Also, like if he wants to double block here and go to three, be my freaking guest. You know? Like, thumbs up. Uh, he makes the block that does not remove any power from the board. Now, do we cycle Serial Memoir or not? I'm not going to yet. Apparently, I know it's there's literally only one more forest than mountain in the deck, but you would not believe that from what I've drawn. Well, we did replace a colorless card with a with a red card, which we haven't seen. Which we haven't seen. No, we have 
Yeah, we haven't seen spawning breath. That's yeah. right. Like there, there, we haven't done any actual changes that would uh, affect it like that. For one second, I thought that surreal memoir was spawning breath because they have not really similar at all art. Mm. So here's his turn to find a way to deal with R in Arlen. Well, right, because if he doesn't, he's just gone. Right, like. Also, playing more auras doesn't do anything for him unless one of them's named Guard Duty. And even if he does, the moment he plays Guard Duty, he is removed attacking from something he could possibly do to win the game. Yeah, because we have like a 4-4 four -four in play. Where he just has to shoot us 20 times with Vince Sentinel. Yeah. Perhaps he actually finds Dongler Invoker? Another Vent Sentinel, is that his plan then? I just have shock us to death. The race. I don't. I don't think that'll work. Yeah, me either. All right, I am. All right, just R and Arlet in. And we can't afford to lose Spider Umbra at this point. Hello! <laughs> so he shoots us for two, he can shoot us for four next turn. Mm hmm. Down to 12, he dies to our attack. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Pokey Captain. Welcome to No Mountain Central, where Hero Mountain is here to let our deck function, but not tell us more. Hero Mountain isn't even a damn Hero Mountain. Andu Gi Giant is the true hero here. Like, <laughs> yeah, Andu. This mountain no, uh, wouldn't have even shown Nest up. Nest Invader is the, seek is the hero yeah. here. Christ. <laughs> mountain, sir, not appearing in this draft. Mountain. Yep. I should have pulled the trigger on that last turn, I suppose. Well, we were hoping to, like, draw anything. It was, it was flat greed. Yeah, which I guess... Well, in, greed will have in, prolonged the game a turn, which is bad, but not you know, world ending. It could be. Like, it could be. Like. But it might not be. Well, like, let me put it this way. There's absolutely positively no way I can construe the play as correct. Like it, it's. Yeah, not, definitely. It, it was, it was wrong. So, and because, like, it has a high, and has a, a chance of costing us the game because we've given our opponent too much time. Of course, our opponent does have to answer R and R to simply live here. So that's part one. I guess if our hand contained Prey Upon or whatever instead of Ulamog's Crusher, it would have been correct, but we would have done that turns ago. Right, our opponent would have been dead years ago. <laughs> if reveal, he plays Feed the Clan, revealing it that betrays. Another defender. Wait, what the hell? Even, what the, I've never seen that one before. Show me that. Rage Nimbus. I have never seen that card before in my entire life. He's going all in. How, though? We can just harm him with R and Arlen. We can't. He can block it. He's got a 5-3. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you have two choices here. It's only one choice. The Stagger Shock's the only actual play. And so it is. Um, I attack with the Aura Narlid. He has to block with Rage Nimbus. Or he loses the game. Because it's the only creature that he could possibly block with. Yeah. Yeah, to get rid of a defender so we don't die. Yeah. And then I'm just going to stagger shock my opponent. This is the point where my opponent should be dead. <laughs> yep, and this is our point where our opponent can play a defender and kill us. No, he, he needs to... He doesn't have the mana to do that. 
like even if he played a two mana wall, he's still short by uh, damage to kill us. Right. Yeah. He's out of. And what's he doing here? Johnny Life Strider. Hey! I freaking lost the game to my own shitty play. Oh my god. All we right. haven't lost the game just yet. But we've probably lost the game. I was gonna say I one hundred percent disagree with you. Like I don't I don't see a way of us actually getting the rest of the damage through. Like we're gonna oh, die to Dongler and Voter. Off Broker. of what our white? <laughs> You have the white and dongler and broker we draw. He also double blocks little Mox Crusher. Not double blocks, but quadruple blocks it. <laughs> Which kills two event signals. Or no, kills events. Yeah, kills. Well, yeah, like, he blocks little Mox Crusher with Ondu Giant. Yeah. We're, yeah, we don't even get two turns. We're dead. Like, it's over. No, we didn't... We didn't quite lose to that. Nick to, Nick to Maron. Also, this is Swiss, so we're still going. Yeah. <sighs> well, this is good. We've won a lot of games to greed. And we, 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 it caught up to us, and that's okay. That's not okay. That was a, that was a shit play. Like, I shouldn't have done that. Well, like, it was just, it was just, there's, there's nothing else about it. It was just a bad play. Ugh. It, it, it was a bad that, play. That pains what I'm me saying a lot. is, we, we still have more magic to play, so we can't go off tilt. Unless you don't feel like playing magic anymore, which is perfectly understandable. So we have Forked Bolt and he shoots us for, yeah. He attacks us for two. Yeah, we're not dead yet, Kavanaugh. Yeah, he I'm attacks not... us for two and then shoots us for six. Or nine. Yeah. yeah. It's it's player. He can't possibly screw this up. Yeah. Except he didn't attack, so we're definitely... He's just holding everything up. Try to steal a game with, 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 with Praise Vengeance, maybe. So he sacks Prism... Uh, prophetic Prism, and then, like... Ondu Giant or whatever. Or a land. But she's just acting two lands, okay. Okay, now the game's over. The game's been over for three turns, no. I I know. I'm going as the plays are happening. There there's no theft to demo. 
He just shoots us twice. Okay. So how are you feeling, buddy? Like are shit. You, Awful. Are, Terrible. I know that much. I mean, like, are you are, are you done? No, or? I'm. I'm. No, I'm. Fuck that. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah. I don't. I. I don't think a single goddamn person understands exactly how I react to to games like this. I think I kind of understand. I don't think you do. I don't think anyone does. Well, I, when this happens to me, <sighs> I just get really sad and dejected. I think a different emotion overcomes you, but yeah. well, we've all been there. The feeling of like literally making the bush league play, like, like I, I was the tournament scrub. I, I like that, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, it it happens. It shouldn't, it shouldn't. though. It, it should. It's freaking shouldn't though. That's not what I, how I play. Like, that that's the thing. I pride myself on it, and it is a pain, because I apparently am not actually any good, so... Oh, come on now. <sighs> I think, I think we, can, we can do better, and I think we should do better than the game that's starting in 38 seconds. I know you're not yeah. going to see this. Ugh, I just... I'm... Ugh. I'm sorry, Jens. I know. It's, I mean, it's it just sucks because I yeah. It's if it makes mm, you feel better. Mm. I forgot Batter Skull was an equipment. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. <laughs> I know. I just I I pride myself on playing technically correct, and to to punt like that is whatever. Uh, well, what can you do? You can do better next time. That's All what right. we're going to. We are we are gonna win two packs. We're, you know, I don't even know if I'll be able to use two packs. No, they'll be stuck in our inventory forever. Uh, yeah, this actually looks fine because I, if I could, like, look at this curve. Yeah, the battle rattle into R R and R and the or stagger shock to kill two guys. I'm. Are you sad you don't have planes to open with? No, no. Okay, I was I was hoping to find a nest invader off the top. That would have been nice, though not necessary. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have a... <laughs> <laughs> Timing! Ah, uh, man. Uh, yeah, that was the demo. You can, you can sell packs except for Rise of the Eldrazi packs, which you can sell packs, but only if people want to buy them. Mm-hmm. Rise of the Eldrazi packs are like are, aren't really worth anything. It's it's quite funny. I don't. The I think it's yeah. Go ahead. I was just say the economy of Magic Online, as we've seen, is uh something. Yeah, the bottom kind of fell out of it a while ago when they first announced play points. Well, it's sort of stabilized since then, but well, it actually the reverse of that. Like it, it's it's gone better or worse. Yes, better. Like at, okay. at least the economy of packs has become. All right, I don't care about that at all. I'm just gonna hit yeah, you with the Battle Rattle Shaman. Yeah, he can't attack. He can't block. R R on R. Yeah, play the temple. Yeah, temple. Uh, there we go. Yeah, you got it. All right. In for four. I'm think... glad we were able to make use of R and Arlet's ability without R and Arlet's ability. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Eldra even like just base like Eldrazi spawn sucks against it. You know, like. I'm looking at that reinforced bulwark in our deck and shaking my goddamn head like, holy shit, that's a bad card right now. Yeah, it would be a little better if our team... Hey! <laughs> What's going on? Holy shit, please. So we're getting hit for four. Uh-huh. We might be getting hit for more. Uh-huh. All right. I have a feeling I know why someone else was in red. So what the hell do we do here? Play Nest Invader and Bulwark and pass? Nah, screw this. Ah, Stagger Shock. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get in, like... 
Maybe he smells the trick. I mean, <laughs> this is a pretty damn obvious attack. Right? Yeah. Packs are super expensive these days, uh, though only packs that are currently being drafted. M packs of Magic Online are worth about 3.8 tickets, whereas packs of Rise of the Eldrazi are worth, like, jack. Mm -hmm. Yes! Maybe, maybe one of the reasons... No! Oh. oh, no. Maybe Rise packs are cheap because there's so many of them. I'm... Yes, 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 get on. So that's like a one and a half for one. Eh, it kind of sucks, but like that's a five-five flyer. I, I, I cannot win the game if it is in play. Also, he can't play a two toughness creature this turn. Right. We have we have the power of a stagger shock backing us, which is nice. Probably just gonna kill the one of the twos, the one of the eh. one of the ones. Yeah. Then just attack with nest invader. Yep. <laughs> yeah, let's get one of these out of here. Our opponent feels like a deck that wants to use them and has missed a land drop, so... Oh. Not happening! Doink. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're doing, like, dumb trading. If, he, if I draw Ulamog's Crusher, our opponent is the, the champ. Uh, sadly, this combo does not work. Uh, like, at all. <laughs> yep. You could put it on Kozilek's Predator, but we're going to try to trade or kill it, so... Yeah. Use Battle Royale Shaman's ability, yes. I guess we could play Lust of War and then, like, put Reinforced Bulwark in the way of it. I want to attack first to see if our opponent... Yeah. Well... Yeah. We do have an 4 Zoop! Four turn clock. <laughs> so, Reinforced Bulwark can only prevent damage to you. Yeah. You, the viewer. Yeah. It is an 04, though. Also, I don't give a crap if a trick kills it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, we just do not care. <laughs> like, this, this is. I do not care at all about this card dying. Held together by hope and prayer. Uh huh. Uh huh. She where's your spawning breath now, idiot? <laughs> We're one mana short from Ulamog's Crusher. So if we rip in ba Battlement, then Crusher, we were in we're in we're in it to win it. Or Land Crusher would also work. Although let me tell you about one of the permanents our opponent is sacking if we play Crusher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sadly, we can't play Crusher off the top anymore because of our lost Eldrazi spawn, but... Sadly, yeah. sadly. Oh, well. I don't feel too bad about that. Oh, no. Zoom in back <laughs> on Reinforced Bulwark. I gotta do something now. All right. Belt of wood and iron, and held together by hope and prayer, said Jace. Okay, there we go. Held together by hope and prayer and Jace. Have hope and prayer and Jace. Hope, prayer, and Jace. So now he gets to attack. Which yeah, little... Welcome to Battle Rattle, Shaman. We've been showing it off on our side. Um. Yeah, that nice. Nope, nope. Yeah, you gotta attack. You gotta do it. When's the correct time to jump, I guess? We don't die. Or, like, right now. Um, or maybe not. Like, maybe Battle Rattle well, you... Shaman has to... Yeah, also you can start tapping the bulwark. Yeah. Not this turn, though. No, like, the big thing here is that maybe we force that Battle Rattle Shaman to block anyway because we're attacking for, like, lethal damage. Yeah, we're attacking for four next turn. <sighs> he goes down to five. Then Lust for War down to, three, down to two. Uh... Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he's probably throwing... Eldrazi spawn in the way right now. Yeah, that's a, that's a free block. Hopefully our card off the top is, like, real. Like, 
another stagger shock. Literally, I, accept bolt. I will accept literally any card in our deck that doesn't have the word Eldrazi in, in its, you know, like type line. Even a land. Undo because... giant would be pretty great. Right, even land because land would get us to make those draws not dead. Do we attack with battle rattle? Force the trade, basically. Mm. I'll consider that. I don't know. Stagger Shock's the obvious best top deck. Fork Bolt's number two. Uh, three Royal Rem Rem Memoir sucks still. Um, yes, yeah, Royal Memoir still sucks. Just this, just this, just in. <laughs> Serial <laughs> Memoir sucks. <laughs> Why wasn't it instant and sorcery? They didn't want Fred to have good card draw. I think the card's still fine. It's it's okay in a certain kind of deck. Mostly the Kiln Fiend deck. <laughs> we're not a Kiln Fiend, I know. We are not the Kiln Fiend. Oh, I'm sorry. Man, you're, you're, you're correct. I've been called out. There's a Dongler Invoker that's a dead dead draw. Oh, there is a Dongler Invoker, <laughs> which is another reason why Undo Giant is a live draw. All right. Is he going to actually sack that Eldrazi spawn for something? That wouldn't be the worst. What is he thinking about? He's thinking about his other conquering master core. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I it. So we we fetch planes, right? Yeah, we fetch planes. Um, just a nest invader in maybe. I I think just nest invader. All right. Because next turn we can start sending nest invader and on new giant. And battle rattle, honestly, like. And just start sending everybody in. As he attacks us down to uh, five or whatever. No, no, not even that much. No, 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 no way. No, seven. He attacks us down to seven. All right, so we get a mana off our opponent. Yay. And we don't have any cards in hand to bluff, but, you know, we get to play. Planes this. to me. <laughs> Smite. Comes into play tapped. Give me that white source. I guess Dongler Invoker would be a pretty good draw, too. Do we let him attack and then Dongler Invoker? <laughs> no, no, no. It becomes tapped. Like, the card's even better. Ah! <laughs> yes! It is, the, it is the City of Brass effect, then. Uh-huh. Wow. They don't do that very often, but Lust for War, I tell you so what. They even printed Mana Confluence just so that wouldn't happen, even though... Oh, holy shit! I guess we're blocking with reinforced bulwark this turn. Yeah, no shit. This is a turn where b much blocking is occurring with basically our board. All he's right. realizing he's in a race, so he's... Uh... Well, if he attacks all out, he's just going to lose. He's not just putting it on the stolen battle rattle and his own. No, he's putting it on this battle rattle so that he can uh, split the damage. Yeah, we'll make my well basically not let my Andu Giant have a free block. So we bulwark on the predator, or do we even do that? Yeah, we do. Nope. We do it this way. The tap the well, here's the thing: if I don't do that, like I'm going way too low. Yeah, he could just have a burn here. And also, if my opponent has a blocker, it doesn't matter because he's at he's at six. He'll die, right? Like, yeah. Also, Andu Giant is still around for blocking Kozlex Predator for free. Oh, no, actually, sorry, that's dead. But yeah, that, they're they're trading. I don't I don't like my opponent should just be dead. So, reinforced bulwark. Yay! It stopped five damage for three months. Yeah. It's it's the worst card in our deck. It says that's saying something because Hand of Emma Cruel is <laughs> in the goddamn deck. All right. Hey! <laughs> Let's move on. All right, so Gruel. So, so Gruel Master Core, eh? Mm hmm. We got nothing. I guess we could have, like, Irresistible Prey. Mm -hmm. Checking the bulwark out for what? Devastating summons. Yeah. Yeah, gruel. The yeah, gruel. Oh, it stopped six damage because it tapped. Oh. Oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like this head just because it has prophetic prism and stagger shock in it. Yeah! So do you play prism first or battlement? Battlement. Bramble snap! We're spawning breath. Yeah, no, well, you can't. That never actually works. Yeah, you can you can tap this. That's the that's the oldest trick in the book. Yeah. Bramble snap can snap himself. Uh huh. I mean, he's got. Maybe we wanted rapid flames actually. Again, to doesn't kill function. But yeah, to no, kill not to kill. Yeah, spawn. to kill all his guys. Oh, prophetic prism. Turning our mountains into forests. Want to play your spider umbrella on your overgrown battlement? Not especially. I think we just passed then. Luckily. If he doesn't play a creature, okay. All right, so Bramble, Bramble Snap is kicking our kicking our ass. Yeah, so Bramble Snap is 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 huge, attacking for one, two. No, he's yeah, attacking with the, and then he hits us for one, two, three, four. If he taps all of his creatures, That's... then we can kill it with. Yeah, we we go ahead and do it now because he's tapped too low. Yeah, and that lets us kill Lava Fume as well. Yep. Hold up, Smite. Mm hmm. Stagger Shock is so good. I'm glad that's dead. We need control of this board badly. Stopper Cub will help. So if I help, I mean trade with Kozilek Spider. Yeah, I was going to say, like, fake trade with his hill giant, so... You know. Maybe Stopper Cub's what we win the game with, then. Maybe Stopper Cub gets the Spider Umbra. Maybe Wildheart yeah. Invoker plus Spider Umbra is the play. Yeah, that could, that could be it. Just a 5-4. Yeah. Whatever. Lava Fume Invoker dies here, so that's good. Is he going to spend his Eldrazi spawn for his conquering Master Core? <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay, so a 5-5 five, five flyer. We'll have a 5-4 reach. He gets to crack in for 5, and then be able to tap his overgrown battlements to praise vengeance us. Yeah, owned. This is, that isn't that bad. Yeah, because we're just trading the Umbra for conquering Masticor, if anything. Right. Do you how Umbra work? I would like to draw fifth land. Hey, it's even mountain. So this is going to be wild heart invoker. <laughs> Ta -da. All right. Stable. <laughs> Problem is, you know, four cards in opponent's hand and they missed land drop last turn. So, you know. Yeah. I made this play specifically to avoid uh, dying to traitorous instinct. Because if I grab Stomper Cub instead, we would have literally died. Like, go to zero died. You know, like, it would have been funny, but. Yeah. Okay, so growth spell him. Uh-huh, uh-huh. More lands. I'm happy that was one of the. You know what? That could have been worse because, like, um, Nest Invader, Dongler Invoker. Seems fine to me. Yeah. Dongler Invoker might be dying here. Well, I'm fine with that. Here's the big reason I want it this way. I can get the activation on Dongler next turn with one with a land draw. Yeah, just a one-shot tap, and then if we can draw a land, it's no longer one-shot. Right, right. So I need to run over our land. Basically, this We took the bulwark out of our deck, so it no longer counts as a land drop. Oh. I would not want to draw that card here, like, at all. 
<laughs> like, fuck that. Like, <laughs> me either. What did we put in over it? I put in devastating summons. <laughs> I'm aware. I, li I know. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Battle rattle shaman. Okay. In how many ways can his creatures trade with our creatures? Hmm. Could just feed it an Eldrazi spawn. Or an Eldrazi spawn. Or you could just double block it and accept the two for one. That does give up the activation, but. Right. Well, either way, I'm giving up the activation here, right? Like, that's that's part of what's happening, is I'm giving up that activation. Um, I guess if we give up Dongler, we still have Wildheart, Roker? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm willing to see what happens here. This kind of sucks, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't see a good play here, and maybe just holding out with the spawn is better, but I don't know. But he's hella happy to get Dongler dead. Well, no shit. Anybody who can kill a Dongler Invoker is hella happy to get a Dongler Invoker dead. He's down to one card in hand. The final card in hand is... Nest Invader. <laughs> like spawning Breath on my Eldra Lava Fume Invoker. All right. Okay, and that's not bad at all. Well, here's the th here's my trick. <laughs> That's not actually my trick. Here's my actual trick. Get back Stagger Shock. And cast it. We killed the Battle Rattle first. I think I passed turn. I don't do it now. Okay, so if you do it in his turn... Will Stagger Shock go to our grave before? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> well, technically, it's all about stacking triggers. So yeah, well, I was wondering if we could be able to stack our triggers right. Yeah. So here's here's the the plan. I want that Eldrazi spawn to chump. Our opponent can't draw a card that lets him activate the Lava Fume Invoker. So, th that's the entire plan here. Is uh, he probably equips the Ogre's Cleaver. Uh huh. But this nine two. And then he pumps the battle rattle shaman. Uh, yeah. And attacks with his creatures that are on the ground. And we block and sack. Yep. This is this is this is some pretty cool Eldrazi spawn stuff. I like this. So now, Stagger Shock targeting the one that isn't blocked. Make a red. One, two, and three. Now, we want the rebound from Surreal Memoir on the stack first. It'll, so it'll happen last. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we shoot the Lava Fume Invoker. It's the old first and last out thing. Yep, and then because this doesn't target, if this card targeted, we couldn't get back the card that we 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 cast. This card was, I think des it was I mean, designed like, to do that. Well, actually, I guess we could, but actually, we yeah, I would say never mind. We actually could, but okay. the card was specifically di designed with that play like in mind. Like, like we're one off from Crusher. Yeah, so I think this is Stomper place, Cub. It is play Stomper Cub. And it doesn't matter what I tap. Anyway, yeah, so I, ignore what I just said about how it doesn't target. Yeah, it, it, there is a situation where that could be true, but it is not now. Yeah. Or... Repracious one. And the land. That, that has, that'll have trample. Oh, shit. All right, well... We'll have an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah. Although I guess this just means he gets a lot of spawn. Uh-huh. Because he we trade He attacks for 10 with his rapacious one. We trade Stomper Cub for it. 
take seven. Or do we trade? Well, if we trade, if we if if Spider Umbra dies, but then we're we like no longer die. black. We can no longer block the master the Manticore. Yeah. Oh, uh, it got to like block. The, the spawn blocked Lava Fume Invoker, then afterwards was used to pay for the, the Stagger Shock. Um, I am just sitting here thinking about what the correct, uh, if there's a correct attack here. Is it Stomper Cub? Is it not Stomper Cub? If it's anything, it's Stomper Cub. We might be trading Rapacious One for Relomox Crusher. If I'm doing that, I actually want to double block it. And then we don't attack with Stomper Cub. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Tame La in the chat has it. Yeah, it sucks, but yeah, it, it, it sucks, but I gotta do it. Nothing to be done there, you know? Yes, I had to, I had to trade the Donglar Invoker earlier. Yeah. Basically, I was sitting there trying to, like, talk myself out of that play, but, like, there's actually no talking myself out of that play. I need to do it to win. Then after this, we can just start sending Stomper Cub in with Wild Heart back up. Right. So Ulmog's Crusher does the one thing it actually does second best block. Yeah, that's what it often does, because Guard Duty was made for that card in particular, Mm-hmm. Goodbye, Ulmog Trusher. Thank you for your sacrifice. You will not be forgotten. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. We're a land away from casting it. Uh-huh. So, uh, we attack. Uh-huh. Now, do we actually... I'm not pumping. Yeah, we don't pump unless you were forced to. Crunch. The Tunneler! <laughs> now, here's a cool thing with the Tunneler. If he actually had, like, an Eldrazi... Don't look at that. He's got, that big he's, got the anyway. big, he's got an anchor. Yeah. You, can make the, you can make the Eldrazi unblockable, then put the Cleaver on it. Mm-hmm. Which I think is cool as hell. I need to just incept shock his dudes. Should he... Okay. Like he knew our the stagger shock was in the hand because it's a real memoir. Uh huh. Attack with both. I like attacking with both. <laughs> like. Wait. Would attacking with both leave us dead to... If he doesn't block, he dies. Okay, he has to block and then... Yeah, okay. If he, if he oh. doesn't... Okay. If he doesn't block, he literally just loses the game. That is an elf riding a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. What do you think happened to Koz like an Emmercool? Um... They're oh, off. They're off on the top shelf. Would he be printed and set too? They'll be. They'll be back. They're. 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 They're sitting around. They lost the coin flip. There's not a two mana fog, but there's a five mana fog. Not a fog. fog. Yeah. That's a frog. Haze fo frog. If our opponent didn't equip that cleaver, I still would make this exact same attack. <laughs> you know. <laughs> they like haze frog. Guess what, asshole? And then threatens our guy, and we lose. I would accept a loss to Haze Frog, would you? Yeah, that'd be fine.
I mean... Take 10, go to 3? Yeah. So now, okay. if he if he has traitorous instinct, he's... Sh Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. oh my man. God. Is he got it? <laughs> no, he, Wait, he doesn't, no, he have, has to, he he doesn't, doesn't have, have enough mana. mana. He doesn't have enough mana. <laughs> <laughs> that was ballsy, though. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's <laughs> move on. We're I out of really here. wanted to die too. Oh, we won. Okay. Yeah, well, it's over. We win. Got we got it. We get. We hold on. Where are they? Are they hidden in here somewhere? I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god! <laughs> I really, really wanted to lose to Eldrazi spot with the electric cleaver. Just, it just picks up the cleaver and then gains double strike from yeah, some. He, he, he snuck in an assault strobe. strobe yeah, assault strobe is here. All right. Well, we're, we're we got some packs. Um, we got some unliquid liquidatable value. We hmm. have thirteen Orinarlets. How many times have you drafted this format, Jens? A lot. We don't have another draft. We're this one is... pack short of another draft. I could tr go try and scrounge one. <laughs> I might do uh, that. Like right now. There's literally no other time I can do it. <laughs> If you can try, I don't know how long I'll be around for it. That's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll some more dice at this <laughs> because what the hell else am I gonna do with these two packs? I mean, I'm not gonna just sit there and so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go buy a worthless pack. I will be well, back if we, if we can, if we can, and if if, if we're not back, then uh, then you know I didn't find it. Yeah, but, well, but anyway, uh, stream delayed. Sue.